and let the YouTube video begin. Ah! <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Coda, and I'm excited to share with you another video. And this video, we are going to be highlighting, wait for it, furry artists! Woo! I chose four artists that I really wanted to share with everyone and really just butter my bread. <laughs> In this video, we will not only talk about the art they created themselves, but give some information and insight into the artists, how they operate, and the people behind it. So with that, let's get started. Woo! Number one, Ray Luca. Number one on our list is Ray Luca. Woo! Ray Luca, whose pronouns are he, she, they, is a hooligan who is an artist and software engineer. They are an American born in China on August 25th, 1994. Hey, Ray Luca, shout out because I have an August birthday as well. Yes, August birthdays. To dive into Ray Luca's artistic journey, they used to go by Lukiri on FA back in the beginning of July 2nd, 2014. During that time, they made a team called Retirement, which was a collaborative works between them and Krells. This team of collaborative works went on from November 30th, 2014 to May 2nd, 2016. They then decided to focus and post on their own individual accounts. And lastly, Lukiri changed their name, becoming Ray Luca, which we know today, starting on August 2nd, 2019. Now, let's talk about the amazing artwork that is Ray Luca. <laughs> Ray Luca is an artist who uses art programs such as Clip Studio to draw their artwork. They absolutely thrive off wing it and artistic freedom. Their primary commission work is based off those criteria. All they require is for you to give them a five word description of your character and they will use that information to come up with a more personalized composition that is fitting for your character. Their ability to take descriptive words that the commissioner gives them and translate them in such a way to create a very unique and captivating composition is just mind blowing. Again, blown away with their adaptive skills. Ray Luca has such an amazing talent and grasp for capturing light, textures, color, and mood. When I look at their artwork, you just can't help but feel the emotion exuding and being expressed in the composition. It just draws you in and captivates you. Also, their line work flows just like their textures. You could see if you do a close up on some of their recent works, the increasing confidence Ray Luca has in using more textures in their art. One type of commission I really love is their artistic freedom wallpapers, for example. They really blow me away. The backgrounds and subject matter are so beautifully and meticulously executed and highlights every strength of this artist. I personally have one of their wallpapers on my computer because not only is it breathtaking, but it makes me feel so warm, happy, and serene. <laughs> yes. If you're interested in commission information for Ray Luca, it can be found on their Twitter and Telegram announcement group. They are still most active on these two platforms, posting all finished art and commission openings. I can conclude thus far from following them for a while now that they are quite vocal online and to their commissioners. I notice they produce work consistently and professionally. And lastly, you can also find all their information as well on their card.co, but just wanted to note it's still under construction for now. He. <laughs> Number two, Syl Vixen. Next on our list is the very talented Syl Vixen. Syl Vixen, AKA Brianna Wines, was born on May 25th, 1990, and is a graduated graphic design and multimedia student from the University of Ballarat and aspiring self-taught artist and illustrator. 
She goes by the screen name Syl Vixen on all internet-based accounts. Their pronouns are she, her. Before she became Syl Vixen, she formerly went by the name Sapphire Phoenix, as found from her art pieces dating back in February 2009 on DeviantArt. In July of 2011, she officially took on the name Syl Vixen and opened her FA in September of 2011 to showcase more of her works on that platform. A freelance illustrator and graphic designer from the country of Victoria, Australia, Syl Vixen started working full-time on her craft since early 2016. She says she unequivocally finds joy breathing life into the ideas of others and helping people realize their own characters. Throughout Syl Vixen's artistic career, she has both participated in and initiated various charity projects including raising money for the WWF, Sisters Inside, the Rainforest Trust, Wires, and the Pride Foundation Australia. She is eager to put more time into helping others in the future, particularly environmental causes. In 2018, Sylviction celebrated being a guest of honor at two furry conventions, Convergence, which is in Melbourne, Australia, and Anthro Weekend, Utah, which is in Salt Lake City. In 2023, Syl Vixen will be celebrating a new guest of honor spot at another Australian convention. Psst, so stay tuned. Let's talk about the amazing artwork that is Syl Vixen. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just had to do that. Okay, I have to start off saying that I am mostly always blown away and impressed with Sylvixen's artwork. When I look over her full detailed work, I must take a moment and just take it all in. It's just so impressive on how clean and truly detailed the work is. Looking at the fur textures alone, it's like I could reach out and actually feel the fur through my paws. And if you look closely at some of the work that has more of a trail of actual movement, you can see how Sylvixen understands how to make sure the fur goes with that particular motion and direction. Sylvixen also has a very strong understanding of lighting, which can be seen in all of her work. The light sourcing is clearly represented brilliantly by shadows, shading, the transition of color, and the object of light itself. One thing I really love and must talk about is the expressions and eyes in Sylvixen's artwork. They're just so expressive, capturing the emotion of the character and subject matter. You just feel them emote from the artwork, and the reflections of light and detail in the eyes to highlight it, it's just... Mwah! Chef's kiss. The composition of the backgrounds is exceptionally well executed and beautiful. I love how she uses techniques like atmospheric perspective to create the illusion of depth. The blur portion of the background behind the main subject, which is sharp and in focus, really makes the subject pop that much more and creates an alluring focal point, drawing your eye to it. Even her sketches are so well executed with clean line work and characters that are again, very expressive. Now, to give a little more information about Sylvixen's commissions, commission information can be found on Sylvixen's website. There you can find prices, terms of service, fat cues, and her current queue list. From my experience, Sylvixen is quite vocal and organized, conducting her business in such a way commissioners find very professional. They also are very active on social media with a well-utilized Telegram announcement group. Personally, again, love their artwork. I actually have a piece from them. So check their stuff out and commission them. Please. Number three, now and later. Now let's talk about the amazing, talented now and later. Now and later, AKA now, is a pan non-binary furry artist who pronouns are they, them and Frisona is a cinnamon-colored African wild dog named Cinna. They originally stated they lived in Kentucky, but then in August of 2021, made the official move to the Pacific Northwest with their partner, Fink. 
Now and Fink, who are two independent artists and partners, work full time on art, including comics, illustrations, stickers, and more. They both have been involved in the furry community for over 10 plus years. So now has been producing art for the furry community for more than 12 years, having started just out of high school, while Fink has moved on from a less than exciting life in science journalism to join them in their endeavors. Art has played an important role in both their lives, and they feel very lucky to be able to make it their careers. <laughs> so cool. Someone now's earliest work can be found on F.A., dating back to around October 4th, 2012. Now let's talk about Nell's artwork. No matter what they are creating, if it's stickers, comics, illustrations, and so forth, they just have a cuteness factor and wholesomeness that is undeniable. When I look through their artwork, I can't help but feel good inside and brings a smile to my face or a happy chuckle. I really appreciate the ability to not only capture such warmth in their artwork, but elements that really stand out that make their work that much more recognizable and appreciated. Those elements are in their capturing of facial expressions and emoting that feeling. Their distinguishable, expressive eyes that are drawn on their subjects, as well as the warmth, inviting colors, and tones seen throughout their entire composition from subject to backgrounds. I will also note that they are also very good at capturing the reflection of light in the eyes, especially as well. Honestly, if you want artwork that will make you smile, laugh, and just overall feel happy inside, then look no further. Want to also note that Now and Later is also known widely for their Telegram packs as well. I found an unaffiliated website that shows all the sticker packs that Now's made, which currently stands at, let me see, what? 912 sticker packs? Whoa! Oh my god, whoa! Huh. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if that's how many they actually have made, but I can believe it in. Wow. Nonetheless, that is awesome. I also have to say I love, love, love their telegram stickers. I might have some myself, <laughs> but seriously, it looks like they have a lot of fun making stickers and expressing emotions and actions in various different ways. Now is very vocal online with a website and multiple social media platforms for keeping up to date on their work in progress. They even got a telegram announcement channel for their commissions and artwork. Prices, TOS, and their current queue, and all other relevant information can be found easily on their website, which states up to date and ready to go. <laughs> Number four, ONS. Okay, I'm really excited to get to this last artist, who is the very talented ONS, who pronouns are he, him, and is an Argentinian furry artist. He has been an artist in the furry fandom for quite some time now. His longest run page I found was on FA dating back in June 30th, 2008. During a brief period, Oz deleted all of his work and his blog at the end of September of 2012, which at that point he had almost 300,000 page views at that time. In 2013, he resurfaced on SoFurry, reposting past and newer artwork. Over the years, one of the main reasons his work is considered so unique by his watchers and so widely popular is the level of detail he used when making an art piece. To date, he is one of the artists who is very active on multiple different sites, utilizing these platforms to promote his artwork and Patreon. You can find him on Twitter, FA, SoFurry, DeviantArt, Weasley, InkBuddy, etc. 
Now, there is so many things I could say about the amazing work that Ans does. So let's dive in. Ans is very talented and versatile as a digital artist. He can go from doing beautiful realism to digital illustrations, reminiscent to a style you see in an anime series and comic books, to cuter cartoon Disney-esque characterizations. Ans even does some impressive animations from fast frame high octane visuals and movement to more whimsical and fun quick clips. Ans realism, for example, is really something to behold. The meticulous attention to detail, the lifelike textures on the body and clothing, I mean, look at that fur, and the body proportions. When you look at an anthro character he drew, you can see every feature that makes the character distinguishable to that animal in reality. So overall, absolutely stunning work. Ans' digital comic book and cartoon styles I also really admire. Not only for his versatility, but how clean the work and how well he can capture the style intended for the picture or character. For example, if he wants to draw a Disney or Japanese anime character, it looks like he came from or inspired by the studio itself. And of course, check out Ans' animation that he has done over the years. They get better and better each time. They are quite entertaining to watch. Some will get you <laughs> pretty hyped. I personally would love to see more animations from him, maybe in a short video or a music video. Hey, Ans, hint, hint. <laughs> One unfortunate thing to note for those that might want a personal custom artwork from him is that he's known for never taking commission requests. Darn. But even still, with all the amazing work Ans does, I highly, highly suggest you follow and support his work, for it's definitely well worth it. Ta-da! <laughs> that is the end of my video, and I wanted to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't already, leave a comment and let me know which furry artist you like. And don't forget the most important thing, to like and subscribe. Hee <laughs> hee.